Hello guys, best thing Keto here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can drastically reduce data consumption on Windows 10 PC. Okay, so I, I like Windows 10 very well because of its environment and then one of the best features that I like is the dark mode. You just put on the dark mode and the lighting from the system does not affect your eyes so much. So a lot of people have been complaining that Windows 10 consumes their data so much. It is quite true because there are a lot of things that happen in the background that are data demanding, okay? So as a web designer, digital marketer, or any other field in the tech world, okay? You need to spend a lot of time on the internet, okay? So if you're using a Windows 10 device, um, it becomes so difficult for you, especially people in the third world countries to have access to data at all times, okay? So I've just decided to make this video to show you how you can drastically reduce data consumption on your system. So I'm going to be showing you this in five ways. So come with me and ensure you watch this video to the very end so that you'll be able to grab everything I'll be talking about in this video. All right, so the first thing you need to consider is Windows Update. So once you install Windows on your system, Windows Update is turned on automatically. That's why sometimes when you want to shut down your system, or when you want to restart, it shows you that Windows is updating and, and that, that you should not shut down if you wait for, for it to complete. It means the updates were downloading when you were online. It was downloading in the background. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to turn off the Windows update. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is come to settings and then uh, I've decided to put my tax bar by the right. You can put it down here. Of course, the default one, you put it down, but I like it uh, this side. So, so just come to your settings here. So when you come to settings, come to Windows Update here. This is Update and Security. So when you come here, you click on Advanced. So you see that I've paused mine already, but come to click on Advanced, and then you turn off this, turn off this, and come to this place. If you want to post it, you select a date here. So after this date, it will start up updating. Okay, so that's the first way you can do that, but there is a better way that you can stop the Windows update completely. Okay, so come to run or just press Windows key plus R. Okay, then you come to this place, type services, services.msc like this and click on OK or enter. So you should take you to this place. So scroll down to Windows Update. So look at Windows Update here. You see, it's showing really running. So click on this. Come to Properties first. Come to Properties. Look at the Startup Type. Disable. Or just stop first. Stop it. And then disable this, then apply, then OK. All right, so you see Windows Update disabled, OK? So now, that is the first way, OK? So the second thing you need to do is to turn off background apps, OK? So there are some background apps that you don't need. You can put them off, go to Settings settings here and then come to privacy then you see background apps look at background apps here so look at the background apps here so if you want to turn off everything you just uh, turn off here but there are some apps that you you will need okay so i'm going to turn off uh, look at alarms uh, Turn off this, I'll turn off this, this. I don't need all of this. So even maps, 
So some of these uh, apps can consume data. Look at Microsoft Store here. Uh, movies and TV, I don't need that. One note, I don't need it. So even all these, you can, can even increase your the speed of your system too. So look at this Skype. Don't need them. If you need, of course, if you need them, you will leave you leave it on, okay? So weather, I don't need what I want to do, okay? So that's what you would do. Turn off the apps that you don't need, okay? So the third thing you need to do is to disable OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive, okay? So OneDrive is a cloud-based storage device uh, service, okay? So, so come to OneDrive, go to OneDrive here, so open it. So you see that I've not set up uh, OneDrive on my system, okay? Can create account of course it's online you can create account and then you will set it up but then it's going to consume your data so if you uh once you if you install your system your operating system newly and it's not connected you, you will leave it like that okay so but if you have connected you can just uh, go ahead and sign in and you unlink unlink it okay so it will reduce your reduce data consumption in your system the fourth thing you need to do is to limit telemetry data, okay? So this is uh, what Windows 10 uses to improve the user experience, okay? So you come to settings, again, come to settings. Come to privacy here. Then you, you see diagnostics and feedback here. Then look at this. Look at the uh, basic, look at full. So uh, you can choose select basic. You put it on basic, and then that's all. So now the fifth thing that you need to do is to use a metered connection. So a metered connection is a setting that limits data usage on your computer. Okay. So for you to do this, uh, you still go back to settings. Then go to network and internet. Come to Wi-Fi. So click on manage networks. Then look at my network here. This is the one I use frequently. So select it, click on properties. So here you see a metered network. If you have a limited data plan and want more control over data usage. Make this connection in metered network. Some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you are connected to this uh, network, okay? So turn this on, and then that's all, okay? So those are the five settings you need to make to reduce data consumption. Just do this and then tell me the effect you have seen in the comment section, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this content, Go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel. This channel, I talk about digital skills, website design, and how you can grow your business on the internet. Okay, so thank you very much for being here and see you in my next video. Bye.